Hi, Greg Meyer coming to you live from SEMA 2023. I'm standing in front of our bench lathe, the BL series lathe. And a new thing we're previewing here at the show is a roll around bench or a mobile cabinet for this particular piece. As you can see here, there are three drawers beneath the, the lathe that can store all of your necessary hardware as well as adapters uh, for this particular piece. Um, makes a really nice convenient way to, to move the lathe around. You have the option to take the lathe to the vehicle and do the work at the vehicle instead of bringing the rotors and drums to the lathe. But alternately, you can just convenient way to move the lathe around. Uh, if you want to clean out from behind it or rearrange the shop, we don't need a forklift to move this. This is a very heavy piece. Makes that very convenient. Get, optionally, you can have the dust collection hood as shown on this one, or you can just go with the standard chip funnel and collect the, the chips in a bucket. Either way, it's up to you, okay? Another feature I'd like to bring to your attention is the tablet interface. This is not new, um, but it is a, an important uh, premium feature on this lathe. So when you get the tablet, it comes with what we call our DigiCal system, which is measuring the thickness of the rotors real time live. So you can see if I'm cutting and I'm feeding these bits in, it's always comparing that to specifications. And if we go below thickness, it's automatically gonna turn red. That signals me, the technician, that it's time to replace that rotor and get a new one. So this is just a quick overview of what's new with the BL series lathe. Now I'm standing in front of our ACE lathe or our AutoComp Elite lathe. This is our on-car lathe. And we've recently gone through a number of improvements to this lathe, 12 of them in total. Uh, I'll just hit the highlights for you. You'll notice here there are a number of additional handles that make it easier to manipulate the lathe as we're taking it on and off the adapters. We've also gone through and added a damper here on the pivot so the lathe is just easier to control, makes it much easier to get on and off of the adapter as well. We've had a significant improvement to the durability of our compensation plates. There are different additional screws holding it together in an improved design. Um, but basically these 12 uh, improvements all add up to significant usability and durability improvements to the lathe. So really good stuff there. What hasn't changed is the performance of the lathe. Still has the most powerful motor in the business. Still has the ACT, anti-chatter control, which prevents chatter, keeps us from having to use those chatter bands and silencers and things like that, that can be forgotten or can fall off or can really put us in dangerous situations trying to put them on and off while things are spinning. We also have, on this one, we have our optional uh, DigiCal system and the tablet. What's great about this, just like on the bench lathe, when I'm moving, adjusting, and cutting, as, I, as the bits come closer together, we have live measurements. And when we go below specifications, it's gonna turn red on the screen so that I know it's time to discard that rotor. So a very strong improvement to this product, which is gonna make this a really good uh, choice for on-car lathes for your shop. So if you want more information, check us out on hunter.com. Thanks for watching.